Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew and today I'm checking out Foundation Season 2 Episode 5. So give this video a like and let's get straight into it. I hate what you've done to us. I know it'll help if you're angry. I'm not angry. It looks like they reshot the scene. <laughs> Still feels it. Now he's got his new body back. Still dreaming? Grace. <laughs> He's gonna stab him again. How are you still alive? I'm not. I died on the deliverance. You got them all fooled. You think you care about them. But the truth is, you don't care about anyone. They're all just... He's still a bit crazy upon his time in the Radiant. I was your son, and you let me die. Now why am I surprised? We both know it wasn't the first time. Okay. I guess we're gonna give a flashback of that, of whatever happened before. Okay. Make sure his body's real. I wonder if he's been modified in any way or something. She implied that she was the manifestation of the Prime Radiant itself. I met her. She was as solid as me, but she didn't register as living on our scopes. And I do? Yes. Because I'm guessing she's a robot. At least a robot version of who she used to be. Or maybe she was always a robot. She cloned you. Someone wanted you flesh and blood again. And after all that trouble you went to turning yourself into an eye. I wonder why she wanted him flesh and blood. They're selling you. The prophet. Not me, him, the other Selden. And it was bound to happen. People do love to kneel. I'm assuming he knows just as much as the other Selden does. I knew it wouldn't be easy. Those rings look insane. We'll have another request soon. The attempt was in Day's bedroom. I guess I'll have to work my way in there for a look around. Are you sure that's the only way? What does she want to know about the assassination attempt on Day's life? She wants to copulate. As you hoped. You want a real alliance, not a paper one. Yes, it's all coming together. But I have... Wait, I don't think it's going to work out. I'll stay close. Okay. Think of me. <laughs> that was weird. Like a shackle around the world. The citizens need to be reminded that they're only alive. You'd think they'd do a better job repairing this place. The patchwork is terrible. Your knees? No. Ow! What? No, I've got it. I've got Ow! it. Ow! <laughs> now that's my toe. Okay. Uh, it's like he's never done this before. They were killed in the accident that put you on the throne. Why am I not surprised you know so much of my family's final days? Why wouldn't he? I was trying to figure out how assassins got in here, not because I hired them, because I'm trying to figure out if it's safe to live here. <laughs> no, that's not true. If she suspects I killed her family, I had to accuse her of trying to kill me. It got heated. We're engaged. In the killing of her family, there's no trail back to you. I made sure of that. Okay. So we did do it. I can imagine an emperor cutting away moments he chooses to forget. But he couldn't let them be lost to history. No, they would reside in the memorial. With the rest of my normal audits. Okay, she just found out where they keep all their memories? Guess she's gonna be trying to find her way into there. Looks like you haven't quite mastered the general art of sneaking up from behind. Oh, that's good. That's very good. You should think about it. Drop it. Is this Hope and Mallow? Oh, hang on. Hello? I saw. What's he doing here? I don't know. You have to be dead by now. Yeah, I thought so. No, but... But you're you. Surprised? The beggar told me you were going into cryo sleep. Nothing left for me on Terminus cell, so I did the same. Okay. I may have given you command, but she still coded it to me. I set my cryopod for a synchronous wake cycle with the beggar. The moment you decided to come back into the world, I would too. Okay. I wasn't, didn't expect that was going to be possible, but... Picked up your trajectory on Una as well. Really wasn't expecting to see him again. 
especially the way they left it off last season. The whole premise of psycho history is that the future isn't set in stone. But all my visions have come true. On Synax, you dreamt of a great wave crashing down on you. It didn't. You're here. <laughs> well, that's true. She did avoid that one. Kill. where's the Prime Radiant? In the cockpit, why? She's smiling. Hide it. Don't tell me where. Do it now. Okay. Why? What's he seeing? Salvo! Identify the stranger you're bringing back to our ship. Is he just afraid of... Hugo Crast. From Terminus. He's my lighthouse, the one I told you about. Oh, he's just afraid of this dude? Doesn't know who he is? Open the airlock. Maybe he's not who he says he is? The beggar says your combined weight is off by three kilograms. Are you kidding? I could have sweated that off in the jungle. Open up. That's not Hugo. Okay. I've overridden the ship's systems, you won't be able to open it. Alright. They're gonna have to convince Harry first. Damn it, if you don't open this door, I will give command back to him. Subway. Do it. Beggar, invoke protocol. Ship transfer back to Hugo Crast. Okay. If he doesn't recognize him, it won't work. Open it. Oh shit, it's not him. Harry, we have a problem. Damn it. I was hoping it was him. For real. Watch out! Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> Well, that sucks. Who are these dudes? I think they're mines. Okay. Wow, I did not see that coming at all. They got some kind of telepathy powers. This is similar to the mule. Mark Lee, we need to find out what happened in that room the day of the attempt. I promise you, Dominion, no one can get those recordings. Why do they need to know for? Original downloads stored in a place called the Memoriam. Can you get in? Yes, but memories of the Cleon. Yeah, I knew they were going to come back to that. To alter his memories. That's correct. Or yours. Or Dawn's. I can't be right. If they excised memories from myself or Dawn, Changing everybody's memories? How would we ever know? And then wouldn't. Memories are preserved in the memorium. My memory is unalterable. So there are two backups, if there is any question. Oh, I don't touch there. I wouldn't feel anything is missing. If Brother Day took such a drastic step, he would tell me. I don't know if he would. Give it to me. Okay. Oh, for her. It's not possible. I just found out that she's the robot. What if the corrections to our genome weren't enough to make our handprints match? Don't mention that. If he knows we're no longer made in his image, he will lower the ceiling on us. Now be quiet. What the hell, Gunner? Okay, is this the original one? Oh, I did not know this was possible. They didn't show this at all in the first season. I am the memory of Cleon the First. Who addresses me? We do. Well, then what would he do if he knew that they've been changed? What kind of power does he have? Do you get the feeling that we are not on top of the heap anymore around here? Yeah, I'm getting that feeling. Do you think, I mean, we're not in danger, are we? <laughs> They're definitely in danger. Pretty sure the Empire is going to fall this season. Conflicts in my reign that haven't happened for hundreds of years. And I didn't deal with one of them. Demrazel pacified the galaxy for me. Okay, he left the galaxy in a robot team. He let her make all the decisions. She definitely seems to be the one running things there, India. Well, she has been for a while now. Cleon the First had 213 catacombs in memory. Okay. Well, he was special. Nobody else even come close to that. It makes sense he'd have a bigger range of life experience. It does. But that much bigger? Did he have that full of a life? It's like three times bigger. Something missing from the rest of ours. What do we do? Absolutely nothing. Till 
I can find us some leverage. Got leverage against two. They? Or Demazel. Demazel has got to know what the difference is. Oh, this all predates the genetic dynasty. Emperor Kandar V. His summer palace probably left to rot by the Cleons. Leftovers from a past empire? Can you hear that? We have to go that way. Can't hear anything. I do. Voices. Guess they have similar kind of powers to what they do. I am Talon Bond, seventh bodily incarnation of Pa'a, goddess of light, wisdom, flying creatures, and the second chamber of eternity. Okay. It's a lot of names. So we're meeting the goddess here. I am Harry Selden of Streeling University. Gail Dornick of Synax. Salvor. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be the little hand thing either. Whoever's in charge, please could we end this charade? Okay. Nice hologram. Maybe there's a projection that they can create with their minds. You two heard it because you're like us. You have all your senses. Some people call it mentalics, but I prefer sighted. Okay. Mentalics. I thought Ignis could serve as a haven for other sighted, so I called for them, like a lighthouse to passing ships. Okay. The meal's gotta be from here. My abilities were misread as godhood, a mistake that almost cost my sanity. Do not worship children. It is not good for them. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry we had to use the image of your man, Salvor. Yeah, he kissed me. Fuck you for that. Yeah, definitely. You were the one pretending to be Raish. The one who was in my head. Harry Selden is... Okay, so she was the one messing with him. But I can see you have a plan. And you think this place and my sighted are a part of it. That's correct. It is. And they are. Might be helpful in the foundation. Oh yeah, I just didn't I say something about the metallics? Metallics? Wait. Didn't I say something about the metallics in um when she went to the future? I think they become their soldiers. If I'm remembering that correctly. What do you know? I believe it's called the Prime Radium. Yes, that's it. They were certainly trying hard not to think about it. They're trying to keep it hidden. <laughs> Don't know if they can keep it hidden from these guys. I will find it. And break it. There's not going to be a second foundation. Why does he want a second foundation for? All right, guys, there we have it, episode five. Can't wait to hear more about the uh, psychics on this planet. See what role they're going to play in the future. They can't read the future, I'm guessing. You know, I'm really disappointed that her boyfriend's not alive. Although his plan that he said did seem plausible, so maybe we would see him in the future if he actually thought of that. But I doubt it. That might be the only time we get to see him again. And we also got some interesting things happening on um, Trantor with Empire, especially surrounding the memory stuff. And I didn't even know that they could uh, actually talk to Cleon the first either. That's new to me. I don't think they mentioned that at all in the first season, that they could do that. So I'm actually interested to see how the uh, memory stuff's going to play out. The rest of the stuff with the Queen and that is not really that interesting. I don't know why she's trying to find out so much about the assassination attempt. But she did find out that uh, Demazol's a uh, robot, so that's going to be interesting to see what happens with that, at least. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you made this funny video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.